a great crowd gathered and people from town after town came to him. Jesus said in a parable. Wait a minute, a pair of what? Not a pair of, a parable, a story. Oh, okay, so Jesus told a story. Right, it went like this. A sower went out. Wait, this story is about someone sewing with a needle and thread? Like cross stitch, or was he hemming up his pants? Neither, the sower is a farmer, not a seamstress. The story is about a farmer. Listen and stop interrupting. The sower went out to sow his seed. As he sowed, some seed fell on the path. Then some birds came and ate it up. Oh no, the birds ate all the seed? Was that it? The sower, th the sower threw some seed and nothing happened? Just some birds eating seed? The story isn't over yet. Some of the seed fell on the rocks. The sower, need, the sower needs a better aim. What happened with the stuff that landed on the rock? It started to grow, but then it died because it didn't have water. Did the sower give up yet? No, the sower just kept sowing seed. Next, some seed fell on thorns. What happened there? The seed grew, but the thorn also grew and choked it. So, we don't have anything that came out of the seeds yet, huh? What kind of seeds was the sower trying to plant anyway? Daisies? Spinach? Squash? Soybeans? You know, I have a great recipe for some spinach souffle. I don't know what kind of seeds they were, and it doesn't matter. The story is the point. Well, I was just trying to say that the poor sewer, sewer needs to find a new way to make a living or he'll starve. Well, he didn't starve because the sower sowed in some seeds into good soil. It's about time. Did it produce anything? You betcha. It produced lots and lots, a hundred times normal. Wow. Finally, some real growth. Say, why did Jesus tell this story anyway? The disciples asked Jesus the same question. They asked him what this story meant. Well, what he said? He said, the seed is the word of God. Sometimes we can be like that hard ground or the rocky, thorny place where God's word is hard to grow because we won't listen or because we aren't open to it. Sometimes our hearts are like the good soil. We are open and willing to listen and grow with God's word. When Jesus finished his story, Jesus said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen.